Hi again. There's an important point about using large modifiers, which I touched upon in a previous video, but I didn't go into a great deal of detail. Now, when you think about it, these flash heads, they're quite small, aren't they? <laughs> and the modifiers can be quite large. This is a 43 inch umbrella, and you can go larger than that for an even softer light. Here's a 60 inch umbrella, which gives you a really, a really soft light, but hey, but it can be a little cumbersome to use. So throughout this course, I've used the 43 inch umbrella. So that means that the light from this small flash has to spread out in order to completely fill the umbrella. It's pretty obvious really, but if you're not careful, that might not happen and you won't completely fill the umbrella with light. I'll show you what I mean. I've set up a flash behind the umbrella to, to shoot through it and the flash power and the camera settings aren't really important at this stage, so I'm not even going to mention them. I'm going to take a photo of the umbrella as though I was the subject. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the outer edges of the umbrella are darker than the center. So, how did that happen? Well, many of these flashes have a zoom mode. Apparently there's a small reflector inside them that moves back and forth, which is used to provide a narrow or wider beam of light. I had the flash head zoomed in to its maximum. Now, on the flash here, it's 105mm. It varies from flash to flash. Some of my others only zoom to 85mm, like this one. The 105mm setting gave me a narrow beam of light, so it didn't quite fill the umbrella. So instead of having a 43 inch umbrella, I might as well be using, say, a 30 or 35 inch one. But you know, I've paid good money for a 43 inch one. That's what I paid for and that's what I want. <laughs> so I'll zoom the flash head out to its wide setting and take another shot. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's still not quite filling the umbrella though, but I do now have a slightly softer light because the light source is larger. And all I did was zoom out the flash head, easy, and I filled the umbrella more. Now, here's a little trick to improve it even further. Many speed lights, like this one, have a small diffuser built in that you can flip out. These are used when taking a wide angle picture so that the light doesn't fall off at the edges. You'll have to check your own flash to see if there is one. But on this one, when I flip, out, when I flip it out, hey presto, the focal length changes to 14mm, much wider. On some flashes it makes no difference to the zoom value, so again you'll have to check, check your own flash. Anyway, so now I'll bring out the diffuser on this flash, which has now changed the setting to 17mm on this particular flash, and it did that automatically without me changing any, set, any other settings, and now I'll take another shot. Ah, now that's made a big difference. The umbrella has been completely filled by the light from the flash. Now, in this experiment, I did deliberately reduce the flash power so that you could see the effect better. The flash was on a 30 second power. Now, at higher flash settings, the effect isn't quite as pronounced, so I wouldn't get too hung up about it. But generally speaking, always set your flash head zoom to its wider setting. Bye for now.